Dear future generations, that's an anonymous message for you. Be careful. You have been born in a world that it's very hostile, sad, and full of misery and suffering. You live in a world where a network of greedy people and institutions are secretly ruling and exploiting the rest of us. You will be enslaved and mistreated in every possible way. The earth has become a human farm, and a network of elites are exploiting all of us. In this video, dear future generations, I would like to warn you about the dangers of the world you are living in. Although you will be billions of human beings sharing the planet, you will be ruled and exploited only by a few. Nowadays, only a handful of persons accumulate the same wealth that the rest of us. This people have destroyed our world and will control every aspect of your lives. They will steal your wealth, will persuade you to kill each other, will convince you to spend your little money in things you don't need, and will dumb you down to such an extent that you won't realize how you are being looted by a few. That's the world where you have been born, and you, future generations, will become cattle like most of us. Unless you listen our advice. First thing we should warn you about. It's about yourself. About your human nature. We, humans, were irrational animals driven by instincts only a few hundred thousand years ago. Although in the last stages of our evolution we developed a high intelligence, these instincts still play a strong influence over our behavior. Like animals, we are by nature tribal creatures prone to not trust outsiders and get into conflict with them. We are territorial. We are possessive. We have strong ego, a huge sexual appetite. And all these instincts will make you prone to fight and compete with other fellow human beings. To prevent your animal nature from taking control of yourself, you will need to meditate. You will need to spend some time a day looking inwardly and becoming aware of yourself. Self-awareness is the only tool that will allow you to transcend your irrational animal nature and become an enlightened being. Dear future generations, unless you become aware of your own existence, chaos, suffering, and destruction will reign your lives. Another thing we should warn you about, it's the educational system. The school it's a place where you will spend most of your life till you turn 18. The goal of this institution is to dumb you down. During your youth, you will feel curious about the world. You will ask yourself many questions. And you will have an insatiable craving for learning. You will have the potential to become an artist. A wise human being. But that is something the elites don't want you to become. And therefore, they will place you in the indoctrination system, where you will be kept busy, learning irrelevant things, to ensure that by the time you are an adult, you don't have a fucking clue of how the world works. You will be so ignorant, that you won't even realize that you are being exploited before your eyes. So dear future generations, you will definitely be idiots, if you only have learned what has been taught to you in the schools. Unless you do research by yourselves, you will be ignorant creatures who will destroy themselves. But I'll tell you what they don't want. They don't want a population of citizens capable of critical thinking. They don't want well-informed, well-educated people capable of critical thinking. They're not interested in that. That doesn't help them. That's against their interest. That's right. You know something? They don't want people who are smart enough to sit around the kitchen table to figure out how badly they're getting fucked by a system that threw them overboard 30 fucking years ago. They don't want that. You know what they want? They want obedient workers. Obedient workers. People who are just smart enough to run the machines and do the paperwork and just dumb enough to passively accept all these increasingly shittier jobs with the lower pay, the longer hours, the reduced benefits, the end of overtime, and the vanishing pension that disappears to me. The third thing we should warn you about, it's the media programming. You will see that in the houses there are electronic devices transmitting moving images and all kind of programs. You will soon realize 
that the people spend most of their times watching at these screens. Be careful. Unless you want to become a cattle. Don't do like them. And now, I will tell you why. These devices are used by the elites to achieve basically three goals. The first one, is to distract you. The TV is a great invention. Very useful for the elites. Since they can achieve to have all the population distracted, staring at a screen, entertained with a virtual reality, which will ensure that you don't pay attention to the real world. Your distraction give the elites the chance to exploit you. But you people sit there day after day, night after night, all ages, colors, creeds. We're all you know. You're beginning to believe the illusions we're spinning here. You're beginning to think that the tube is reality and that your own lives are unreal. You do whatever the tube tells you. You dress like the tube. You eat like the tube. You raise your children like the tube. You even think like the tube. This is mass madness, you maniacs. In God's name, you people are the real thing. We are... The second goal of the TV is to misinform you through movies, news and documentaries. The elites will give you a fake view of the world you live in. They don't want you to understand the reality, and therefore, they will implant in your mind lies and propaganda, in order to turn you into an ignorant, submissive citizen, unable to comprehend the world around him, and unable to become aware of his condition of slave. So if you want the truth, Go to your gurus. Go to yourselves. Because that's the only place you're ever going to find any real truth. <laughs> but man, you're never going to get any truth from us. We'll tell you anything you want to hear, we lie. Another application of the TV will be to bombard you with images that will implant in your mind values, complexes and aspirations that will turn you into a superficial and stupid human being. Through the TV and the media, you will be programmed like a robot to develop behaviors that benefits the elites. You will be persuaded to spend your wealth in things that you don't need. You will be brainwashed to feel unhappy with yourself so that you will spend all your life looking yourself on the mirrors instead of looking the world you live in. You will be implanted needs, that will keep you focused in irrelevant things, that mean nothing in the scheme of the entire world. Another thing the elites will do, is to use propaganda, lies, and false flag terror attacks, to try to implant in your mind hatred towards other fellow human beings. The elites have created an unfair economical system, that only benefits a few, and to prevent the masses from raising against them. They will try to keep you divided and confronted with each other. Be careful, and be aware of the intentions of the countless messages promoting hatred, that will bombard you since the first day you will be born. The strength of the elites, lies precisely on your hatred towards your fellow human beings. Now to balance the scale, I'd like to talk about some things that bring us together. Things that point out our similarities instead of our differences. Because that's all you ever hear about in this country is our differences. That's all the media and the politicians are ever talking about, the things that separate us, things that make us different from one another. That's the way the ruling class operates in any society. They try to divide the rest of the people. They keep the lower and the middle classes fighting with each other so that they, the rich, can run off with all the fucking money. Fairly simple thing happens to work. You know anything different, that's what they're going to talk about. Race, religion, ethnic and national background, jobs, income, education, social status, sexuality, anything you can do, keep us fighting with each other so that they can... Finally, you will live in a society that will surround you with countless distractions. The elites will want you to spend your life entertained, distracted, unaware of the important political events that are unfolding around you. They will surround you with amazing video games, with virtual reality, with drugs, with big variety of TV programs, pornography, and distractions of all kind. You will be exploited since the first day you are born, and entertainments, it's one of the tools the elites will use. 
to keep you distracted and apathetic towards the destruction and misery around you. And why is that? It's the Roman circus. What does the emperor do when the people become restive? And when the people are asking questions and when the people don't like the policies of the emperor? He sends them to the circus. He creates a circus. He builds a giant coliseum. And he begins to throw the Christians to the lions. And he has great chariot races and football games and basketball games, all to keep the idiots preoccupied with things that don't mean anything in the scheme of the entire world. So that they don't have the time to learn what the truth is. So they don't ever get smart enough to learn how they're being manipulated. So they don't ever question the emperor. So dear future generations, as you can see, this world is a conspiracy against you. A conspiracy to prevent you from unleashing your full potential as a human being. A conspiracy to turn you into cattle, into submissive, apathetic ignorant creatures. So, future generations, if you don't follow our advice, you will surely become ignorant, like most of us, and destruction and suffering will keep plaguing the earth. We have destroyed the planet, because we have been victim of this conspiracy, which has prevented most of us to learn the right knowledge and wake up. And you, future generations, will surely follow the same path unless you pay heed to our advice. So please, become self-aware, and meditate a little bit every day. Stop watching screens, and don't let the elites to turn you into a machine. Learn for yourself, and stop believing the bullshit, that the corporate media will tell. Finally, dear future generations, you will need to be compassionate, don't look at other disoriented human beings with hatred. You need to understand that we are all one. We are all different manifestations of a same being. Only ideologies, prejudices and fear separates us and hating each other. It's the most stupid mistake humanity have done since the beginning of times. Now, humans of the future, don't do the same mistake. Don't commit the same errors of killing each other like we did. Be united. Spread love. Since wars and division, as you have seen, have destroyed our world. Dear future generations, I hope you will learn from the mistakes of our past. I am sure, you can do better than us. Good luck. We are anonymous. And we are awake. We do not forgive. And we do not forget. So expect us